Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the swirl technique. What you're going to do is take, um, I usually just pour from right from the bottle. Um, this one here I'm using Tweety Bird. And I'm going to do enough that I think is going to fill the inside of this plate. So I'm going to pour about, oh, I got about a, maybe a quarter of, um, of a cup of this, the Tweety Bird. I'm going to squeeze some water into it, not too much. I stir it around. You want it. You want to stir it up good. You want it about the consistency of like milk. After you do this a couple of times, you'll kind of be able to judge how how to do it. It doesn't have to be exact. You just want to thin it down a little. The main color. Now I'm going to use chocolate mousse and happy trails. I'm going to take the tips off of them because I want to be ready for it. And that's what I'm going to squirt from. Now I'm going to pour the yellow, the Tweety Bird, onto the plate, okay? Now this is the thin down stuff. I'm gonna move it around a little. And I'm gonna squirt some um, Happy Trails in there and some chocolate mousse. And I'm kind of making this look like it's, um, you know, like a frosting type of thing. I'm gonna swirl it around kind of slowly. I wanna cover the inside. Now you don't want the paint that thick, so you want to pour it off, have a, like a catch pan ready, because you don't want too much of it. Um, then I'm going to go back this way. Now I, I chose to use the um, Tweety Bird so it would show up more um, on the video. But you can use the Mellow Yellow, looks really nice as like a frosting type color. It's not quite as yellow, and it looks real nice with the brown. As you can see, I'm just kind of swirling around till I get it where I want it. I already poured off most of the excess. So I'm going to pour off a little more. And you can still keep letting it move a little. You want to go real slow because see how it's still moving? But I'm kind of liking the way it looks now, so I don't know how much more I'm going to move, move it. See, I can still keep moving it. Um, I'm probably gonna stop now. It will start to set up pretty quickly. So I kinda like the way that looks, so I'm gonna leave this. And um, that's finished. And when it's dry, I, I don't really usually do this right now, but when it's dry, you're gonna go and you're gonna sponge off all the outer area, and then you can solid coat the rim, um, and, and do the back if you want. You can also use what's left over in here to um, pour onto another plate. So if you have another plate, instead of wasting that, this glaze, I can pour it on just like this and do do a second plate. It's a little bit, it goes, the design goes on a little bit different, but it still looks really nice. And I can do that so I don't waste it. I can even add some more color if I want to to it to kind of just give it a little bit more color. And that's what the swirl technique is. And that's about it. You just want to make sure you get all the excess off. And that's it. Simple as that.